everybody and welcome to Make Your Monday. My name is Ursula and today we're going to be exploring playing with light. So we're going to be inspired by Joseph Wright and we have some of his work in our galleries at Derby Museums. And Joseph Wright is a painter. He was born in 1734 and he's famous as a painter of light. We can see in some of his paintings here in the Ororades, you can see that there's a centre of light and there's shadows and patterns cast around the room from the objects that are in the painting. And he's got a lot of really dark areas and really light areas in his paintings that are going to be exploring playing with light. So I'm going to go and find some objects from around the house that we're going to use to create with today. And I've picked things that will react differently to light. So some the light will shine through, some of them the light might shine off it or reflect off it, and others might make interesting patterns and shapes and shadows with the light. So I've got some colourful uh, plastic wrappers from Sweet. I've got a bag of rice that I thought might make interesting patterns when you draw in it. I've got some shiny things like tinfoil and old CDs. I've got two different types of netting from fruit and vegetable wrappers. I've got some different shaped blocks. You might want to try maybe some of your toys out. You could try Lego bricks or things with lots of different shapes. You could try drawings and see how the light might shine through the paper, especially if you try out different types of paper. I've got a leaf and a pine cone. I thought the light might shine through the lines in the leaf, interestingly. And then I've got some sponges because I like the different shapes. So there's two different ways that we're going to experiment with our objects and light. One is on a window, experimenting with daylight, and another is by making a light box. So first up, I'll show you how to make your own light box. We need a plastic box. It can be any size. It could be bigger than this or smaller than this. As long as you can fit your lights in it, anything will work. Some fairy lights or a torch. So what we're going to do, you put your lid on the surface that you're working on, on the table or the floor, and then you put your fairy light on top and switch them on. You can use battery powered ones or if you use ones from the mains that's as, that'll work as well. You just have to make sure you don't push your lid down quite as hard. And then you put the top of the box on top like that. And you can see a little bit that the light's shining through the box. But you might find that it's not really bright enough because it's daylight outside, the sun is shining. So what you might want to do is close your curtains or you could put a blanket over you and make yourself an, your own little den. So I've closed the curtains in my room now and you can already see how much brighter the light box is. So if I put my hands on top there, see the dark of my hand and the light coming through. So once you've made your light box, you can have a play with the different objects that you've collected on your light box. So you might try, just want to see first what happens to each object when you place it on top. Some things will work differently to others. And then when you've had a little play, you might want to start layering your objects up. And maybe you could explore making some pictures or images using your objects. As well as playing on your light box, you could have a play with just exploring with a torch on a piece of paper. So you can test how, you see, things make different shadows. Some of them make long lines. And what might happen if we put a piece of colour in front? Oh, everything turns red. Or green. Okay, so instead of playing on the light box, I've now tried playing on the window. So you might need to use a little bit of blue tack here to stick things on. And you can see how the light shines through different objects and you can really see the lines in the leaves. But also we can see what happens to the shadows that are created from the window. So you can see where the 
um, shadows from the objects that I've got on the window are reflecting colours and shapes and patterns onto my windowsill. And I've also put a pine cone up so you can see the nice shadow shapes there. What you could do if you wanted to is put a piece of paper underneath and have a go drawing round some of the shapes that are cast. And you can have a play as well with some reflective objects like a CD so you can see the rainbow patterns that it makes on the wall over here. And with your tinfoil, you have a go what happens when it's scrunched up, changes all of the colours that are being reflected by the light in the window. So have a play around and see what you can come up with.